What is up fellow summoners? Welcome to the channel today. I'm going to be discussing uh, five of my favorite teams to put together to run through map 5. And uh, if you're newer to the game or you're newer to getting into map 5, hopefully this will be a help to you and your alliance members. If you have been playing for a while, then this probably isn't going to mean anything to you. Uh, but my, my plan with this is to be able to kind of spread out um, the, the champs throughout the game, put together different rosters, um, not kind of point out the same champs over and over again, at least try not to do that anyway. Uh, that way if you're, like I said, you're new into the game, don't have as big of a roster, hopefully you'll find somebody here uh, in these suggestions that you can pull into map 5 that will help you out. Alright, let me get into this thing. Hopefully I can put this all together. I'm trying to record my phone and then capture my screen to do both these things at the same time. Hopefully it goes fairly smoothly. Um, my, my One of my oldest and favorite groupings for AQ, really in any map, is Ultron, Scarlet Witch, and Vision, which I used to run this particular team uh, quite a bit before Scarlet Witch got the big nerf. The reason for that is that Vision has got really strong synergies with both Scarlet Witch and Ultron, as you can see there, 6% attack, also the increased crit, which was really, really nice for uh, Scarlet Witch. But outside of that, even though she has been nerfed quite a bit, still a very strong team. You've got two champs with double immunity, so they are both bleed and poison immune. Uh, you've got Vision, who's one of the strongest power control champs in the game. Scarlet Witch, who's got a little bit of power control there. Uh, pretty decent damage as well. And then obviously Ultron, uh, like I mentioned, double immunity, but uh, it's got the bleed. It's also got a good regen. So overall, really, really strong team to run in. Uh, if you look here on the first tiering, uh, there really isn't a path with, with this particular group that's necessarily bad. Uh, if, you, if you're looking at um, you know one over there, it's A1 on the map. Um, one on the map there, obviously Vision and Ultron are going to have class disadvantage, but you've got Scarlet Witch if you had to run through there. Um, pretty much every other path is totally open up to you. Uh, path number two, you don't have any class advantage for, uh, but really any one of your champs is going to work there. C3 is totally power control, so that's an excellent one to take in there with Vision, even Scarlet Witch. D4, same thing, 6, 7, 8, same thing. The only one I would caution you with is 5. Only because you do have Electro there, and then um, you've got Abomination, so just make sure you're using one of your Poison Champs, but Electro is the big one there. Uh, if you don't have to take that path, I wouldn't. Um, not that it's a huge deal, even if you had Ultron, I, that's who I would use. I would take Ultron in there. If you do manage to uh, get him pushed down to 50% health, just let him regen up, and you can probably finish the fight shortly after that. Um, but really, good boss killer uh, for Cable. Even for Rhino, Ultron and Vision are pretty good for, and then obviously Mordo, uh, Vision's a very strong option there for power control. Uh, if you're looking at the second tier, this is kind of where this grouping shines, because on the far left side and the far right side, you've got uh, Heal Block with Bleed on the left, Heal Block with Poison on the right. Uh, you can do either one of those paths because you've got double immunity with Vision and Ultron. Uh, same thing with, uh, with 2, J2 there, even though that's Heal Block. Uh, you've got power control because you've got vision right there. You've got heal block with vision for Ultron. Uh, I'm on the far, excuse me, not the far right side, but uh, path number seven, immunity. Um, this one is not such a strong path only because, you know, Scarlet Witch is not going to be able to put any of the debuffs on them. Ultron's not going to be able to bleed them. Um, so really, probably would want to leave that one. I'll, I'll discuss that one later, but, but probably want to leave that path for somebody else. Um, six is very similar uh, to the first path we saw with Abomination. Uh, it's only in reverse order this time. So you've got Abomination there, which is no big deal because of double immunity. But again, you're going to run into another Electro. So if you ran into the first Electro with Ultron, I would skip this one and let somebody else take him. Um, but really, again, this, this combination is the, the one I'm starting with because I think it's probably one of the strongest combinations you can put together. And then finally, uh, on, the, on path number three, Again, anything is open to you um, outside of maybe five just because you don't have any class advantage there. Six, you don't have class advantage, but uh, it's really not an issue. And then finally, R2. If you've run through a couple of Electros already, you probably will want to leave that path for somebody else. So definitely Ultron, Scarlet Witch, Vision, um, which was really strong back in the day. I, I, think, I think it's a really strong uh, combination now. So let me get them out of there, and we'll take a look at our second one. The second one starts with, where is she at? X23. Let me find her. I know I passed her. There she is. X23, Wolverine, and then uh, if you look at Wolverine, he's actually got a double synergy here uh, with Classic Cap and World War II Cap. If you have the pick of both of those, take, or take uh, World War II. 
only because he has got the class or the uh, synergy with Wolverine and the classic cap if you see here he does not 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 a huge deal uh, but if you're just looking for every little synergy you can get uh, using uh, X-23 Wolverine and then World War II cap will give you the most synergies there uh, this one is kind of an interesting combination because it's got a good mixture of utility as far as uh, the block damage the regen uh, but also is mixed pretty uh, pretty well with uh, outright damage. Um, you know, for for path number one, um, you know, one is not a great path for this team, only because you've got Groot there. In fact, I think it's a double Groot if I scroll up here. Yep, there it is. Uh, it's a double Groot, so you've got double Bleed Immune Champs, and all three of these champs, including uh, Cap with his S2, have got strong bleeds, so I would, I would steer clear of that one. Um, number two, B2 there, is a good path to take. Uh, classic, or excuse me, I keep calling him Classic Cap, but uh, Cap World War II can clean that up. C3, you probably want to steer clear of. That is a power, con or not power control, but uh, class advantage you're not going to have. And, uh, well, yeah, I should say it is power control because you've got double vision, uh, OG visions, you've got synthesize, who so can be a little bit of pain to deal with. Um, so, really, you're looking at B2. Uh, D4, right at the center, is a good path for this team. Obviously, class advantage, the bleeds are going to be working well for you there. Um, E5, uh, you I, I, you can take Wolverine against Electro, but you're going to have an issue with Abomination. I would just stay away from that altogether. And then anything on the right side of the first hearing, you can deal with fairly easily. Uh, if you move up into the middle path here, though, uh, things get a little bit hairy with this team. Only because, uh, because of Heal Block, uh, you don't have any kind of immunity here. On the far left and far right with uh, Poison and Bleed Pass that are Heal Block. Can't go there. Power Gain Path with J2. Probably want to leave to somebody else. Um, but the Immunity Path on the uh, on the right there, number 7. I guess that's 07. Uh, this is a pretty good path for Wolverine to take. Remember, I wouldn't take an X-23 just because they are immune to Bleeds. However, uh, they're also immune to Stuns. And if you can stand there and take Block Damage with Wolverine and consistently have a strong, uh, strong Regen there, uh, you can keep yourself alive, get through that path fairly easily. Um, K3, uh, again, don't really have class advantage, but most of those fights you can take out fairly easily outside of Groot. Again, you've got a Poison Immune Champ there. Uh, with Groot, though, I probably would use Cap World War II uh, because of his ability to stun longer, uh, the higher his perfect block chance is. Uh, that's all based upon uh, the way Signature works with the more buffs the enemy has. Groot's always got a ton of buffs, so you've got an opportunity there to stun him fairly long. Um, but L4 right there, class advantage with Cap. Uh, Magic, you can use Wolverine or X-23 with a regen and bleed to get through that. Uh, even M5 you could get through there. Again, I would probably leave N6. You don't have Poison Immunity and Electro. So really, path number 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Yep, 3, 4, 5, 7 is the team that I would run with this one. And then up in the last tier, uh, basically, I would say anything outside of R2 is probably okay. Uh, you've got class advantage over on 1, 3, 4, um, where else? Yeah, 1, 3, 4, and 6. Um, but, but really don't have to deal with anything outside of Electro and Abomination there. Uh, again, probably leave those for somebody else with a, uh, with a Bleed Immune Champ. All right, that was, a, that was my second grouping, so let's get them out of there. Um, this next one is all based around Hulk. So I've got Hulk, and if you look at his synergies... He's actually got an interesting combination uh, here with, I think it is Hawk. There it is right there. Um, Hulk, Hawkeye, and Scarlet Witch, which I know I've mentioned Scarlet Witch before. I'm going to throw her back in here. And let me scroll down here to the bottom again, tier number one. There we go. Um, Hulk has got amazing damage. And when you combine that with the fact that he's poison immune, uh, also has a very reliable stun that you can chain together, he's a really, really strong champ for map 5. I, I personally almost always run Hulk in on map 5. Um, I, don't, I don't use this particular group uh, myself. Um, outside of Hawkeye, I usually have got uh, Captain America in there, World War II. Uh, but this is pretty much the, uh, the grouping that I run in with. Um, Hulk, if you want to look here on tier number one, uh, and let me mention real quick the synergies. Uh, the synergies Hawkeye gets from Hulk and Scarlet Witch, and then the synergy that uh, Hawkeye gets with, uh, or excuse me, Hulk gets with Hawkeye. Uh, it's just a double armor up plus a power gain. Nothing over the top, but uh, nice to have if you're going to put the put the team together anyway. Okay, so look at tier number one here. Um, far left hand side, you can use Scarlet Witch for class advantage. 
B2 is an excellent place to put Hulk. Uh, C3 is actually, um, you can use Scarlet Witch or Hawkeye here. Uh, of the two, I probably would use Hawkeye because you're going to use um, Hawkeye for the double vision. I know he is bleed immune. However, you're going to have a reliable power drain with his S1, so that fight is going to be easily handled. Whereas with Scarlet Witch, you've got to kind of play it uh, a little slower and hope that you do get the power controls. Otherwise, it just makes for a longer fight. So uh, one, two, and three, you can uh, you can do fairly easily. Four, um, you don't have class advantage there outside of Hawkeye with the uh, Science Symbiote there at the end. Um, that one you could run, but I probably would leave it for somebody else. Five is a good uh, good place to bring in um, this team for. Electro, actually, you can deal with uh, Electro fairly easily with Hawkeye, uh, especially if he is awakened. If you can get that hemorrhage ability to tick away that, that bleed on him, that will help you out quite a bit where you don't have to do physical damage. And then Poison, uh, excuse me, Abomination with his Poison. Hulk is immune to Poison, uh, so you can take him in there. So what do we got? We got one, yeah, one, two, three, five, uh, then six, seven, eight. Anything over there you can use this team for as well. Um, Hulk is really good against Mordo. Hulk is good against Rhino. Hawkeye good against Rhino. Uh, Scarlet Witch really good against all three of them. Uh, okay, here on the top, uh, here in the tier two, you're really probably going to want to focus on the right-hand side. You don't have any bleed champs um, to deal with the left-hand side. And, yeah, deal with the right-hand side if, if, if at all possible. Uh, Hulk is really, really good on path number eight, taking out Voodoo, uh, Voodoo taking out Hood, and those uh, Mystic Symbiids as well. Uh, as far as the immunity path with all of those skill champs, maybe not the best spot here for this team uh, because you're going to have class disadvantage with Hulk. You're not going to be able to bleed uh, with Hawkeye, and you're not going to be able to put all the debuffs on with Scarlet Witch, so I would stay away from seven. Um, so really want to focus over on 8. You can take 6 uh, as well with Abomination and Electro. Um, 4 is another really good path with Voodoo, Hood, and Magic. Um, Hawkeye is actually pretty good against Magic with the Bleed and Power Control there as well. And then also K3. K3 you can use Scarlet Witch to blow right through that. Uh, if we go up to the final tier here, really I don't think there's anything necessarily, uh, necessarily that's, that's off limits, which is why I love this team. Maybe if you want to look at just uh, pure synergy based um, path number four and path number five, you don't have any class advantage. Or I said synergy based, but I meant class advantage. Uh, you don't have any class advantage on four and five, but outside of that, everything on the outsides, uh, you can run fairly easily with this team. All right, let me go back down. Let's get rid of this team. And what are we on? Fourth. Yeah, this, this is kind of an odd setup here. <laughs> To, to put it lightly, let me grab, ooh, let me filter out. Uh, where's my voodoo at? There's my voodoo. And uh, who else are we running through here? If I could read, oh, yes, yes, yes. Now I remember. Where's she at? There she is. So in my pursuit of looking for different teams, um, we just had voodoo that ran through the arena, basic arena, like a week ago. So there's probably a lot of people with him looking for spots to use him at. Uh, this is actually, an, it's an unusual team setup, I will give you that, but there's actually quite a bit of utility here and also regen in all three of these characters. So while they do not necessarily have bleed immunity and poison immunity, um, on path number one, they can really take out just about anything. Um, I mean, you, you could even run them in on uh, path number five to deal with Electro and technically Abomination. Uh, if you could get through that fight fairly quickly, because all of these champs have regen, you probably could get them back up to full health. But really, um, I would probably steer clear of path number five, just because every single path outside of that uh, is open to this group. Really, if, if you go up to tier number two, uh, pretty much everything that you're going to be doing is focused uh, between two and seven, the outside paths. You don't have any uh, immunity, bleed, or poison, but you've got really strong uh, power control. So uh, you, you can take two uh, because they have power gain. However, um, the point of these champs is all of the, the regen. So I probably would, would steer clear of two as well. So that leaves between three and seven. Um, three, four, five, seven are probably your best paths. Six is very similar, again, to the first one just because of Abomination. You don't have a, you don't have a poison immune champ there. Uh, but yeah, three, four, five, seven, all good paths. And then when we get to the end, Pretty much everything opens back up to you. Um, don't necessarily 
have class advantage for path number five. And uh, what is it? Path number, yeah, path number two. Again, I, I keep feeling, I feel like I mentioned this over and over again, but you got Electro, you've got Abomination there. So really anything out uh, outside of two and five, you've got class advantage for, uh, and you can deal with any of that. Um, let me scroll back down here. Uh, that should have been my fourth team. Yeah, that was the fourth team. Let's put together the last one here. And do remember, there's there's many other teams outside of this, but uh, I'm just trying to show um, just kind of a small sample size, but also uh, put together a, put together uh, varied teams. Uh, this one is kind of a throwback to an OG team. <laughs> these are these are some older champs here. Uh, let me find there he is right there. Uh, this is actually, uh, this reminds me quite a bit of the first team in Ultron, Vision, and Scarlet Witch. They're older champs, uh, but still very, very strong. Classic Cap, uh, I feel like he's a really underrated champ. Unfortunately, I think uh, Cap World War II is a little bit better than him, so he always gets picked. Uh, but if you don't have uh, Cap World War II, Classic Cap is actually really, really strong here. Um, even though you're putting on fatigue and AQ, you don't have any kind of willpower to, to worry about. Um, so if you look up and down this group, and let me pull the synergies up here, because I think you've got you've got double, yeah, you got double crit bonuses there. Captain uh, Captain America's got one with Iron Man, and then Iron Man has got one with Ultron. Uh, then you've got even a little bit of a health boost plus uh, an armor rating boost there as well. So this this set of three, this team here has actually got really strong synergies together. But if you look at them, uh, Ultron's got double immunity plus regen. Uh, Iron Man, I think, is another underrated champ. He's actually got pretty good damage, but his regen should uh, not be overlooked. Um, I, I personally think one of the strongest regens in the game. Uh, basically, once you've got him awakened to a higher level, uh, he's going to heal back a large portion of his health. So pretty much every fight, if you're getting low on health, I would just let yourself run all the way down on purpose, take some block damage, kick in that regen, you're going to heal all the way back up, finish the fight, and you can continue to do that over and over again. And then obviously, classic cap, the lower he gets in health, uh, the higher chance he has uh, to, to take no damage at all, uh, have a perfect block. So when you're, when you're getting low on health, getting into the later stages, the later tiering, uh, he's actually getting better and better as you go. Uh, if you're looking at path number one, um, A1 in tier 1, A1 in tier 1, <laughs> uh, you don't have class advantage over there, probably would steer clear of that. Um, B2 is a good one for classic cap to take out. C3, vision there, you don't have any sort of power control with this team, so I'd probably stay away from that as well. Uh, but 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all of that is fairly easy to deal with. Um, I, I would say that probably 8 is not a bad, uh, bad option for this group. Because Ultron and Iron Man are going to have class advantage against those mutant champs there on the on the far right hand side. Uh, then here on path number two, because uh, Ultron is double immune, you can deal with path number one, the bleed path, and then path number eight, the uh, poison path. But um, I, I probably I probably would leave the poison path for Hulk. Uh, and if you have this particular setup, go for the bleed path instead, uh, because it, not only is he bleeding immune, but you've also got two mutants over there. Uh, you've got Psylocke, you've got Archangel, and then further up, if you look down um, on 77 before you get to the mini boss there, uh, you've got another mutant in Psylocke. So I think that uh, the far left hand side is a good one for this team to run. Uh, path number two, again, no power control would steer clear of that. Path number three, no class advantage would steer clear of that. Uh, then everything between four, I would say four and six is probably pretty strong for this group. So one, four, five, six, seven. Again, um, I mean, you you could take them in there. You you do have two you do have two uh, champs that can heal up. Um, classic cap is actually not too too bad because you can stand there. You can't you can't parry stun them, so you can just kind of stand there and take the block damage, um, and then turn around and hit them. Uh, because of his block proficiency and signature ability, uh, a lot of the time you're going to be perfectly blocking. However, if you do get hit, it's class disadvantage on your end. Uh, so that's kind of my only hesitation there. So really for this pairing, one I think is your ideal situation. Uh, but then four, five, six is really what you want to look at. And then finally, in the final tier, tier number three, um, really nothing here is... Uh, is uh, at your disadvantage outside of seven only because class disadvantage there uh, and then obviously Groot doesn't bleed so that doesn't help you out with Ultron uh, but really anything else outside of that it, it al always helps to have regen champs and some sort of immunity and the fact you've got double immunity there with Ultron means everything's open to you uh, but if I had to pick 
probably would take, uh, I probably would run um, path number one, um, because once you get through uh, dealing with those Mystic Champs with class advantage at cap, uh, you've also got Abomination there who you can deal with uh, with Ultron. Then moving further in, you run into Yellow Jacket. If you do get hit, uh, you've got a really strong regen there towards the end. So overall, um, a very strong grouping. Uh, these are older champs. Hopefully a lot of you have these. Uh, but a very, very strong pairing that's probably overlooked a lot. All right, guys, I hope this has helped you out. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, there are many, many other options here. If I try to go through every single one of them, this would be like a 45-minute video. But I hope this has given you um, a little bit of something, you know, a little bit of... Um, a little bit to think about as far as putting together teams. Uh, don't ever be afraid to, to rank up people. Uh, if they're part of a good synergy team, to throw them together to take advantage of those synergies. I'm, I'm a big proponent of, uh, of synergies really throughout the game. If you have any questions, suggestions, all of that, leave that down in the comment section below. You can catch me over on Twitter. The link to that will be in the description as well. Alright guys, till I see you all in the next video, have a great day.